Hey there everyone, welcome back to another Ark Survival Ascended video. As always, I'm Captain Beefy. This is the Game Vault. We're going to take a break from Schwartalheim today to head back to the center to show you another mod spotlight. And this is the Nothosaurus. So, let's cue up the music and we'll get right into it. I couldn't help it but make a quick stop for this uh, beautiful yellow drop. <clears throat> that wow. I mean, thanks for the canteen, but... Alright, so anyway, the Nothosaurus. This is a great um, creature. It looks like kind of uh, the bastard child of a Megalania and a Plesiosaur. It will exist in and out of the water, and you'll find it frequenting the beaches along rivers and the ocean itself. And... It's a ferocious looking monster. Look at this thing. Let's hop down and take a closer look at it. Really nice pattern to it. Really beautiful work on this creature. I mean, look at the scales on it. The eyes itself. I think it's got like the double eyelid. Yep, you see how it kind of goes sideways there. The extra skin along the body. It's fantastic. Beautiful design. Taming it is... One of the more simple teams you'll find in the game, actually. Let's go ahead and put these down here. I brought a bunch of generators along. Uh, depending on what level it is and how your server's set up as far as taming goes, I think we're like five times or something like that, um, it's going to depend on how many generators you need to feed this thing. And yes, I said that correctly. You're going to feed it generators generators that are running. Check it out. He gets that little blue icon there and he starts to eat the generator. Very simple process. You don't have to wait between um, generators to feed him the next one. You can go ahead and get him set up. I think this guy's going to take three from the looks of it. We tamed a whole bunch of these during a live stream the other night and it was a blast. There's two down. All right, he's yumming it up. Look at him! Look at him glow with the electricity. It's so badass. And there we go. We got him. Came out to be a level 195. So I happened to bring one along that I bred up. This is a perfect one that. He's got the best of all of our, um... Okay, there we go. We didn't need that. He's got the best stats of all the ones that we've gotten so far. And we'll just show you some stuff that he can do here. Uh, let's go ahead and... He's in what's called energy build-up mode right now, so he's trying to build up some energy. As you can see, with each bite, he builds up a little energy. He's not having to kill creatures, just bite. We'll go over here. Get some neat, interesting loop. energy buildup going on here, and he's got a few different things he can do. So I'm going to get this built up, and then we'll take a look at some of his uh, abilities. Alright, so we got his energy all built up, and we can do... What we have in the middle there is the explode, right? You can see that in the middle, and I think that is... Yep. L1. And X. Or R1 and X. And you see it did like an area effect damage there. 881 damage, just poor soul. We'll go ahead and uh, check out some other stuff, but I think uh, it's. Yeah, Tail Whip is L2. That's a great little hit. Let's go over here and try it out on whatever's fighting here. It does have a little bit of a cooldown, unlike the regular bite. 189 damage compared to what, 246, so not as much damage, but great knockback on that. We'll go ahead and build up again, and then we'll do the uh, explosion. I think. Nope. There we go. Boom! <laughs> you can see that. Massive damage and unleashes. Alright, 
there are also a couple other things it can do, so let's get to it. Locate silica pearls. We can hold or hit R1 and then L2. It'll show if there are any in the area. Not really sure if uh, we've got any in this immediate area. In fact, we're going to head off and check out these other abilities somewhere else, so we'll be right back. All right, we're going to take this guy caving. We're at the uh, the lava oasis cave here on the big, you know, volcanic island. And, um, yeah, we're going to take him in here because I want to show off his ability to find silica pearls. And I know there's a butt ton in here. Also plenty of creatures, so we'll be able to build up real, real quick. There we go. Oh yeah, we do have a roar, and that's the uh, R1 and R3. Pretty badass little roar he does there. But yeah, let's keep moving on. We got a lot of silica pearls in this cave, and that's something that he's got the ability to find. The silica pearls, which is kind of awesome because it costs quite a few silica pearls just to tame this guy. Now, though he looks like a Megalania, he doesn't climb walls like a Megalania. In fact, he's not really that spectacular on the ground. In the water, very fast. And as you can see, we're not inflicting tons of damage, but, you know, we're alright. Now, this guy's unleveled at this point. So maybe once we kill this guy off, we'll level him up real quick. Uh, and his friend. Oh, we're getting, you know what, let's explode. Can we explode? Activate charge ability? There we go. Of course, yeah, there we go. These guys took off, but they were still in the way. Alright, we go. So, the ability... Oh, come on, let's get up out of here. Please. <laughs> Not recommending him for caving. Not at this time, at least. Takes a little bit to maneuver him around. And he's not super tough. But that's alright. It's good enough. Alright, let's get moving. I'm going to get us back to where the artifact is, because there's a ton of silica pearls in there, and that's kind of where we want to go. Alright, so here's his next ability, which is called Strike. Let me go ahead and pull that one down. Boom. Nice big hit there, 405 damage to everybody that it hit. And he does have a third ability, which we'll look at next. Let's go ahead and cycle to that one. That is Energy Bubble. This one's kind of neat. Um, Got to wait till we get unwebbed here. And hopefully we should be able to build up enough to use it again. Ugh. Yeah, we're definitely looking for a great saddle for this guy. Because with a great saddle, he'll be uh, so much fun. But again, he hasn't been leveled at all yet. And we're going to look at what level you need to be to build everything that you need to tame him. And his saddle and all that. And... We'll kind of go from there. I'll show you what his basic stats look like after, you know, we bred him up. We haven't leveled him yet, so. All right, here's Energy Bubble. Yeah, Energy Bubble. There we go. Boom. So you see it's doing constant damage. It puts this bubble around us. And it's doing damage constantly to the creatures around us, which is kind of neat. Alright, man, he is clunky in the cave. Could have found a better spot to use him, but it, it is what it is now. We've committed. So out of the three different abilities, I kind of like that first one the most, Explode. I feel like that one gives you the most, quote-unquote, bang for your buck. We'll pop it off again here in a minute when it gets fully charged up. 
All right, well, here is the artifact over there, and there's also a ton of silica pearls in this cave. And to find them, very, very easy. It's uh, R1 and L2. And look at that. Wow, so many silica pearls, right? Here's the cool thing. All right, why are we stuck in the ground? Look at that, he grabs them up just like the angler. But he's a little tougher than the angler. So all those silica pearls you used up to uh, tame this guy? Make any electronics? Yeah, you can make them back in one shot. Pretty much, you know. Man, I'll keep looking for them, and we'll come away with tons of them. So far, what have we grabbed? Um, you know, 147. Just a little quick, quick nab, but they're great. You can see them with your eyes. You can pick them right up, or you can do that scan for them again. And that was R1 and L2. Right? R1L2. There we go. Oh, he's so tough to get over stuff, though. <laughs> there we go. The explosion. Great. Now, we're going to get him back out to the open ocean just to show you some of his maneuverability and all that. But we're going to grab just a couple more of these while we're here. I'll catch up with you back at the ocean. All right, so this one's kind of fun. You head, breach the water when you're swimming fast, and do a major old jump like that. <laughs> it's pretty cool. Oh, can't do it again. We've got to be moving a little bit. Let's try it a little bit better here, see if we can land on Hobbit's base. But that's such a cool move, man. It really is. There we go. Oh, we're too quick. Give it one more shot. What's down here? Oh, ooh, donkeys, donkeys galore. Okay. There we go. Landed up on his base here. All right, let's take a look at his stats. Now, this is the best of, I think, six or eight Nothas that we uh, went ahead and captured. And they were all in, I think, the 135 and up to 150, I believe, if I'm not mistaken. They, some of them do spawn underground, too. We didn't get any of those yet. Looks like they spawn maybe in the underworld, but, um, ooh, that's nice. So we got 4,400 starting health, uh, 2,925 starting stamina, the weight's 594, and the melee is 440. So overall, not anything spectacular, you know, but a fun creature for sure. Uh, if I wanted to get the weight up to maybe 5,000, it goes up a decent amount. Um, I would actually want this thing to be a little beefier than that, maybe 7,500. Or 77, well, may as well make it 8 at this point, right? There we go. Uh, well, stamina, I think, is okay. Weight, I wouldn't be using him for a lot of weight, so I would definitely pump up his melee a little bit. And we'll see what kind of damage he inflicts now. Get down in the water here, and we'll head over to shore and do some fighting over there. That's a nice deep area. All right. Take a chunk. 347. Pretty significant upgrade, I would say. All right, don't know what's going on over here with these gates. It's new. And what do we have out there? Is that a box? What is going on here? Okay, it's a vault. Hobbit. Hobbit's hard at work doing something over here. Oh, I think I know what he was doing. He was... Yeah, he's got his guys gathering stuff up. Made him a safe place. Alright, anyway, let's get moving here. I forgot about that. 
All right, we're gonna go ahead and explode on these uh, Triceratops real quick. Yeah. Boom! Wow, 1240 that time. A lot more damage that time. Oh, what is this? Here we go. Let's, we'll eat this guy too. But yeah, a lot of fun these guys. This is just a little one here. Maybe we can explode on him before uh, he dies. Let's find out. Ugh. Come on. We might kill him first. He might stomp our guts. I don't know. He's mad. And he's dead. Alright, so let's look at what it takes to tame this guy up. First off, you're going to need to be able to make a power generator. And that is level 49. So you got to be at least level 49 to tame them up. Unless you find some in a drop, then that's a different story. Or somebody else can make them for you. And to make his actual saddle, that's 48. So right around that same level, you can make the saddle. 150 fiber, 25 metal ingots, and 270 hide. So really not an issue to make the saddle. Fairly easy to make. Uh, very inexpensive. Boom. But that's the creature. It's, it's cool. I still haven't got the full gist of him yet you know but he could do some cool like lunges in the water like that with the push of the r3 he'll need to uh there we go do it again a little barrel roll and pretty neat overall i'll go grab this yellow drop and uh but in any case let me know what you think of this creature down below in the comment section don't forget to subscribe to the channel and ring that bell for notifications we'll be back with some more chevrotelheim here real real soon and we're going to be going through some no man's sky again with all major updates coming up, I've got a new series planned for that. So stick around. I'll see you guys next time. Until then, peace.